on top, from below, from behind. If you've ever wondered whether certain positions actually make it easier for a woman to climax, you're not imagining things. The way you connect physically can absolutely change the level of pleasure, satisfaction, and intimacy in your relationship. But here's the twist. It's not about being an acrobat, memorizing dozens of moves, or copying what you've seen online. The real key is understanding the science, the way the body responds, the way nerves and blood flow work, and the way psychology blends with biology. And today, I'm going to share with you the scientifically proven sex positions that are most likely to help women climax. These aren't guesses, and they aren't gimmicks. They come from real research studies on thousands of couples. Quick question before we get into it. Where are you watching from? I'd love to know how far this message is reaching. Drop your country in the comments below. And while you're there, hit like and subscribe so you don't miss future videos about men's health, intimacy, and performance. All right, let's get into the truth. A lot of men secretly believe that if their partner doesn't climax during sex, it means they aren't good enough or big enough. That's a painful myth, and it's not true. Here's the reality. Most women do not orgasm from penetration alone. Studies consistently show that a significant number of women require direct or indirect clitoral stimulation to reach climax. That's biology, not failure. So if you've ever felt frustrated or wondered why your partner isn't always finishing, it's not because you're doing something wrong. It's because the typical default way most couples have sex simply doesn't provide the stimulation her body is wired to respond to, But the good news? Certain positions naturally make clitoral contact and stimulation more likely, so you can increase her chances of orgasm dramatically, without stress, without guesswork. If you're new to this channel, I'm Dr. Nora Hayes, a board-certified urologist with seven years of experience helping men improve their health, their confidence, and their sex lives. And I want you to hear this from me clearly. Great sex is not about tricks or ego. It's about understanding understanding your partner's body, your own body, and the science of intimacy. Over the years, I've worked with couples who thought they were broken, only to realize all they needed was a shift in technique, a new position, or better communication. So let's walk through what the research actually says about positions and how you can use this knowledge to create more pleasure and connection. I'm going to give you a list, not of every possible position out there, but of the ones backed by science as being most effective for female orgasm. And for each one, I'll explain why it works, what it feels like emotionally, and how you can try it practically. Number one, woman on top, face to face. Biologically, this is one of the best positions for orgasm because it gives her control over angle, depth, and rhythm. She can position her body in a way that increases clitoral contact, something penetration alone often misses. Emotionally, it empowers her. She's not just receiving, she's directing. That sense of agency can make her feel more connected and confident. Practically, don't just lie back passively. Support her hips, kiss, touch, and engage. Remember, this is about teamwork, not just her doing all the work. Number two, sitting face to face. Biologically, this creates more surface contact, torsos pressed together, which increases opportunities for clitoral stimulation while maintaining penetration. Emotionally, it's deeply intimate. Eye contact, kissing, and full body closeness enhance oxytocin release, the bonding hormone. Practically, you don't need acrobatics. Sit on a sturdy chair or at the edge of the bed and let her straddle you. Slow movements here can be more powerful than speed. Number three, modified missionary coital alignment technique. This isn't the standard missionary you're used to. In the coital alignment technique, instead of thrusting in and out, The man shifts upward slightly so his pubic bone presses against the clitoris during each movement. Biologically, this adds the missing piece. Consistent clitoral contact alongside penetration. Emotionally, it feels like closeness, not just mechanics. She feels your weight, your warmth, and your attention. Practically, slow down. Focus on grinding motion more than thrusting. Think connection, not performance. Number four, spooning, side by side. Biologically, this position is less intense but allows for subtle angles that can hit sensitive spots. Plus, hands are free to provide direct clitoral stimulation. Emotionally, spooning feels safe, cozy, and affectionate. For many women, relaxation is the key to climax, and this position naturally reduces performance pressure. Practically, try alternating between slow, deep movements and using your hands to enhance stimulation. It's a perfect, lazy Sunday morning position that still delivers results. Number five, Woman lying face down. 
prone rear entry. Biologically, this angle can create more friction along the front vaginal wall, the area that includes the G-spot. Emotionally, it's more about intensity. Some women find the pressure deeply pleasurable. Practically, the key is to use pillows under her hips to adjust angle and comfort. This isn't about pounding. It's about experimenting with subtle shifts until you find what makes her moan. Number six, rear entry, doggy style. Biologically, this position can allow for deep penetration, and for some women, that's highly pleasurable. But here's the caveat. Without additional clitoral stimulation, it doesn't always lead to climax. Emotionally, it can feel raw and passionate. For many couples, variety is the spice here. Practically, add your hand, a toy, or encourage her to touch herself at the same time. Combining stimulation makes this position far more orgasm-friendly. So how do you use this information without turning sex into a science experiment? Talk openly, ask her which positions feel best, and listen without defensiveness. Prioritize clitoral contact. Remember, that's the most important factor for orgasm. Experiment with small changes. A pillow, a different angle, slowing down. Tiny shifts can make a big difference. Mix routine with novelty. Familiarity is comforting, but variety boosts arousal. Stay present. Eye contact, touch, words of reassurance. Those emotional cues are just as powerful as physical ones. If you're thinking, but I've been with my partner for years, we're too set in our ways, let me reassure you, it is never too late to rediscover each other. I've seen couples in their 60s, even 70s, reignite passion simply by trying one new position or having one honest conversation. Your partner doesn't want perfection. She wants presence. She wants you engaged, curious, and caring. And if you've ever felt inadequate because she didn't climax, let go of that guilt. Her body may simply need a different kind of stimulation. That's not failure. It's knowledge. So here's my challenge. The next time you're intimate, don't just go through the motions. Try one of these positions with intention. Watch her reactions. Ask her what she likes. Let go of the idea that sex is about performance and embrace the truth. It's about connection and exploration. Because when you understand her pleasure, you deepen your own. If you found this video helpful, hit like, subscribe to the channel, and share this with a friend who could benefit from real science-based advice about intimacy. And remember, age does not end your ability to bring pleasure, passion, and confidence into your relationship. In fact, with wisdom and care, your best years of intimacy may still be ahead of you. I'm Dr. Nora Hayes, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care of yourself, take care of your partner, and never forget, your pleasure, your health, and your happiness matter.